Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We got Miguel in here with us this morning, and Miguel's all the way over here from Eagle Pass, Texas, which is out west Texas. That's a border city, isn't it? Yes, sir. You said it took you about five and a half, six hours to get here? Yes, sir. And uh, Miguel comes in with some interesting issues going on. His main complaint was he has a lot of GERD issues and acid reflux and hyaluronic hernia has been diagnosed on him uh, in the hospital actually because you thought you were having a heart attack, right? Yeah. You went in there with fast heartbeat and chest pain and all that. Yes, sir. But he also has, and this is a common finding that we see, he has mid-back pain that radiates around in through his rib cage up into his substernal area and creates a lot of substernal pain and, and bloating and pressure in there too, right? Yes. Now he has a very unique uh, condition, which I had when I was in sports in high school as well, and that is called Osgood Slaughter's disease. Keep it straight. Now, the quadriceps is a very powerful muscle, and if you're in sports activities, usually in grade school and high school, sometimes the quadriceps muscle gets so strong that it pulls the anterior part of the tibia here the proximal tibia away from the bone and it gets this like goose egg knot in there which he has right there and that's painful right there not so painful up here on the reflexes when i did his reflex he was fine but he's had his osgood slaughters for a lot longer than most people do mine went away in about a year and i had to lay off some sports activities and but you continued to play yeah nobody told me to stop Right, and this has gotten, you've had this over since, you know say almost 20 years. 20 years now. Yep. That's a long, long time. Yeah. So, I don't really treat Osgood Slaughter's the disease either. Same thing as I don't treat his acid reflux, hyaluronic hernia, or GERD the disease. But we are going to treat the biomechanical configuration of his spine, his rib cage, and his extremities, which will address adjusting that knee so we can hopefully take some of that quad power and balance it out to where it's not pulling that bone up so bad and causing inflammation in his left knee. Uh, he also complains of neck pain and stiffness that radiates out into his traps, um, low back pain, used down in the lumbosacral region, and uh, some, some uh, mostly his thoracic spine and rib cage though. And this substernal pain is like the worst, right? Yeah. And that's kind of what brought you here today, right? Yes. So again, we don't treat acid reflux, hyaluronic hernia, or GERD disease, but we do treat the subluxations of the spine and the rib cage, which can often influence the strength of the diaphragm where the hiatus is centered in here. The hiatus is a sphincter inside of the diaphragm, both are muscles. And whenever that diaphragm gets tweaked out of alignment, it, help, it weakens the hiatus, so the hiatus kind of opens up and the stomach slips up in through there and secretes acid into the esophagus, which is, that's really what acid reflux is. The reason I know so much about it is because I had it personally. So I have personal experience with that in years. They wanted to put me on all these pills for years and then surgery, that didn't work. I went to a chiropractor friend of mine and he treated me like I'm going to treat him today, and within a month or so, it was completely gone. I can eat pizza or beer, uh, ice cream in the middle of the night, not have any issues with it anymore. So we hopefully we're going to make that change in your life too. All right, that'd be a good change, oh, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh yeah. All right, so let's, I'm going to reevaluate his. I've already done his history and examination. Was that thorough, by the way? Yes, sir. Miguel. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please. And then back to neutral. Okay, you can see his head's forward. His ear's right here over his clavicle. It should be back here over his shoulders. That's why his hands are right out front of him like that. You see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. See your hands out front of you? Yeah. Shoulders kind of bending forward. Yeah. Now his pelvis is shifted to the right of center just a bit. That's a negative SX pelvis alignment. So we've already did his examination, so I'm going to adjust him for the very first time on the biophysics table first. Let's so lay you face down again now, Miguel. Face in there. Now this is also Miguel's very first chiropractic adjustment ever, right, Miguel? Yes, sir. So he's never seen a chiropractor before. So we're happy that he chose advanced chiropractic relief as his first stop for chiropractic. His right leg is shorter by about a quarter, a half an inch. Now I bring it up 
See, it gets even. That tightens up in your lower back, doesn't it, Miguel? Yeah. Now, it also tightened up in his quads a little bit. Did that stress that knee out when I did that? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So he does have bilateral SI subluxations and sacral subluxation here and lumbosacral subluxation. So I'm going to adjust that first. That probably helps my cock to pee. There we go. A little deeper in person, huh, Miguel? <laughs> there you go. Boy, boy. Welcome to chiropractic. Ooh. Yes, sir. Now your legs are even. And they stay even. Did that tighten up any less that time, Miguel? No, uh, not less. I guess I didn't feel... It was less or not less? Less. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hit that again. It's going to be tight. Breathe. That's my elbow in there. If that's not enough pressure, I can use my knee. No. <laughs> All enough pressure. Yep. Yeah, my elbows are pretty old man strength, too. Doing this 40 years, you get old man strength, Miguel. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you feel it? <laughs> Is it off dead weight, or like no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> Remember, you haven't gotten your ring finger yet. <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Never say yes. the doctor before you ring finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you put this in it. Yeah. <laughs> Lay on my back. Unfortunately, I had to say it's more weight than I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about dead weight. Yep, slide down this way a little bit for me now, Miguel. Not too far. Yep, that's good. Now put both arms out like this, palms facing up. So in this one, I'm adjusting both of his acromioclavicular joints, which is shoulder, clavicle on each side, and anterior rib cage as well. Now this is a very common finding whenever we have patients that come in here with acid reflux symptoms. You see the left rib cage is higher than the right one. The right one's lower down here. There's his stomach right here and his esophagus is right up here under his sternum. But he's feeling that pressure go from his abdomen up into his esophageal area, which is what the GERD is, gastroesophageal reflux disease. So I'm gonna be adjusting his left rib cage multiple ways. There we go. Well, that got about half of it right there. You can rest your hands right there on your chest now, Miguel. Take a real deep breath in. I want you to exhale through your mouth. Keep blowing air out for me, Miguel. Keep blowing it out. I'm gonna pull this fascia down in your abdomen, which will help pull that organ down. Deep breath, exhale. There we go. And exhale. A little deeper there too, huh? That was sore, but it should feel better for you. Yeah. Well, you'll find out shortly. <laughs> so, again, whenever you're dealing with Osgood Slaughter's, what the most common treatment for that is, is to wear a neoprene knee brace on it with a little hole, that hole up front. And you've had that too, right? Yeah. And uh, that hasn't really resolved your issues though, has it? No. I'm going to adjust his feet, because the feet connected to the ankle, connected to the knee, connected to the hip, connected to the spine, is all working in concert with each other. So it's important to have the extremities lined up and moving through their full range of motion as well. All right, so on all, all, all knee adjustments that I do, I'm contacting the tibia and the fibula down below the femur. The quads are up here, the tibialis anterior is down here, tibialis anterior is down here. I feel that play in there? Yeah. That's also a problem. There we go. And you should have felt that move from here all the way up into here, did you? Yeah. Good. 
You, have you ever put ice on that, Miguel? Yeah. Because that's what you should do, too. See how this one's loose, too? Yeah. There you go. You feel that one insane? Yeah. Okay, let's sit you up face that way, please, sir. Shoulder hurt at all on that left side mm -hmm. when I did that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yep. Good. Okay, let's come over on this table next. So on this one, Miguel, I'm gonna lay you on your back with your butt there. Head up this way, please. I'm on decompress your entire spine with this one. This will line up all 12 thoracic spine vertebrae as well as your ribcage simultaneously. Yes, sir. Just like that. Slide up this way, Ted. There you go. You're going to let your legs just relax. The table's going to lift them up. As chiropractors, we don't treat disease processes. We do treat the biomechanics of the spine in the human body to maximize joint range of motion, alignment, and function. So that's why my approach is always XYZ on every single patient who comes in here because they're all dealing with those same lines of drive and same vectors. Okay, relax. Oh, there we go. Relax, you should have felt that all the way down, Miguel. Yeah, the first one's a little shocky. They get easier after that, though. And looky there, he's still kicking. <laughs> <laughs> Here, and let this go. I got you. There you go. Yes, sir. -y. And really, I'm gonna, because he's laying on his back, this is protruding even more. Can you see that knot right there? That is Osgood Slaughter's, where his tibia bone has been pulled away from his proximal tibia by the quadriceps muscle overpowering that. That should have gone away by now. Look how good your reflexes are. Yeah. I'm just tapping on them. Yeah. Going good. Okay. Well, you didn't scream too loud at all on your first adjustment, Miguel. Uh, cool. Welcome to chiropractic. Let me help you up sideways. There we go. And we're going to stand over here in front of the mirror now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this forward and I'm going to bounce your muscles with this instrument. This is an archer stem. It's a high velocity, low amplitude adjusting instrument. That, and, and this, the way I'm using it right now, I'm using it to bounce the muscle spindles in Golden Tendon apparatus, which is neurological in nature, so it helps relax these. Okay. So your homework is this, though. This will help you with your shoulder alignment and your rib alignment. Okay. Your head's forward, what's pulling your shoulders forward. Mm -hmm. You'll pull these shoulders up and back. Flare these guys like this. You might want to spread your feet a little further apart so it'll knock you over. Now this is the hard part. Keep that chin up, come straight back, and then look back. You'll feel a little tap on your atlas there. Another little tap on your atlas there. Now relax and go forward and backwards again, Miguel. Tell me if this feels any smoother up here yet. Yeah. Cool deal, take a look in the mirror now. Look how we evened all that out. You're not yeah. to the right anymore. Yeah. Shoulders are squared off pretty good. Yeah. Heads back further. Your ears here now as opposed to being out here. So this is your very, very first chiropractic experience from the history, examination, and adjustment. What would you share with our crack addicts worldwide about your very first chiropractic experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief? Well, I was pretty nervous coming. Yeah. I was pretty nervous, but mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I got here, you made me feel comfortable. Okay. And uh, you knew what you were doing, so yeah. yeah. I should know what I'm doing after 40 years. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, See that, that old man who dead weight. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't crazy. take it out on you though. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. this this being Miguel's very first ring dinger adjustment here, he's now the newest member of Team Ring Dinger. So welcome oh, to welcome. the team, Miguel. Show him your Team Ring Dinger badge. <laughs> There you go. So what parting words would you have to share with everybody about your first chiropractic adjustment ever? Uh, it was a good experience. A lot of information. A lot of information and uh, 
A lot of cracking going on. A lot on. of cracking, yeah. I didn't know I could pop so many ways. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That's good. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing your experience with yeah. everyone on YouTube today. Yeah. This you. is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we do treat the XYZ axes of the spine and body Monday through Wednesday. We'll see y'all soon.